Pisces. What's up, baby? Treat me nice, please. What is the deal? Y'all already know I'm going to keep it real. It is Scorpion Red Tarot. I am back at it again one time for the one time for my lovely, lovely Pisces to let y'all know what the what the energies is surrounding you for the month of October 2019, baby. Yes, honey, how's you been? How's you been doing? You been cleaning up shit? You been keeping shit? You been keeping it together? You been, look, y'all been miraculous out here? I, look, I already know it. It's already, look, I already know it. So listen, we gonna get into this energy today. I wanna say thank you. To every last one of y'all that's clicked this video, I want to say thank you for everyone that's been liking, sharing, subscribing, that have been confirming the energy that I've been getting um, in the Pisces reading specifically, ever by email, down in the comment section, because sometimes I be thinking I be going plumb goddamn crazy with the energy that be coming out, but y'all like, no sis, you ain't going crazy, how about hashtag facts, like shit girl, okay, so... Thank you guys for, you know, um, especially if you don't feel comfortable enough with um, telling your story and just talking to a sister down in the comments. Y'all always email me. And um, look, we be like, lean on me when you're not strong. Come on, cuz I'll be your friend. Come on, Pisces, cuz I'll help you carry on. Okay, I'm sorry. Okay, I just did too much. I just did way too much. Y'all just, look, y'all just, okay, my bad. I ain't mean all that. I'm sorry. We just gonna keep that at a minimum, okay? Anyway, so listen. <laughs> Thank y'all for putting up with my silly ass, okay? I am reloading, all right? I want to give a big shout-out to my baby girl, Callie. Listen, girlfriend, look that. Y'all been doing the damn ditty on <laughs> that Amazon wish list. Listen, shout-out to every body that has been sending any type of support. We just got the tarot dice today. And no, y'all going to be getting something nice because I shall be using this today on you, baby. On you, you. What you trying to do, baby? Yes, God. Come on now. Come on now. Listen, thank you to everyone who's been sending support through Cash App. Thank you, everyone that's been sending support through PayPal. Um, Again, the Amazon wish list. Um, all the type of support. Like, y'all are beyond a uh, freaking amazing if these videos are um resonating with y'all of course you can always support by hitting that like button that's number one and share if you care again share if you care okay you know because i know y'all be petty sometimes y'all be like uh-uh y'all be <laughs> text messaging somebody to link but like that's you you listen to this this you 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 that's who she talking about you sir you ma'am okay <laughs> Okay, I don't know why y'all got me in this goofy mood. Let's hope we can stay there. It's going to be some good energy today, okay? So, um, if you guys want to book a personal private reading, go ahead and click that About tab on my YouTube page. My booking is there. Um, if you just want to talk to me directly, if you want to book with me directly, you don't feel like fucking around with that goddamn booking page, just email me at scorpionreds at gmail.com or you can send me a message on Instagram, okay? Um, what else? Oh, so y'all just seen... The tarot dice. We also got some new decks. Thanks to y'all's support, man. Y'all are just amazing. We got the Crystal Unicorn Tarot deck. We also got the Moonology deck right here, which we will be using today. All right. And um, we also got, boy, I was too excited about this deck right here. Uh, someone sent me some money through Cash App, and I made this purchase because i wanted this okay the um what is this the santa uh morte death the day of the dead deck i will be using this for the mid-month y'all uh this deck is specifically about transitioning you know moving from one phase into another phase so I just want to tell y'all, like, I know that this looks scary and it looks kind of dark. This is an amazing freaking deck. Um, I've got nothing but positive energy and confirmations that everything that I've been doing in my path, in my journey, that I'm on the right path. So, um, honey, one thing that this deck has been teaching me is about 
your will and your destiny. And if there's a will, there's a way in your intentions and your heart. Woo, honey, you anything can happen. Anything that you put your mind to, you can accomplish any and everything. And that deck has been bringing a lot of clarity and confirmation to me. So I just want to say thank you to all of y'all for all of y'all support. I don't want to um, have the intro too long, but I just want to say thank you. I just really, really want to say thank you. So let's get into the energy. Y'all know I always have to say a prayer before we go in. All right. We going in. We going in. And I'm going to go hard. All right. So, Father God, I want to thank you so much for this joyous occasion. I have a special love for my Pisces. I'm a Pisces rising. Lord knows. Lord knows, honey. We are some special people. We are very intuitive. Sometimes, you know, we second guess our intuition, but, you know, when we get more comfortable with our will, with our purpose, man, I swear it's so worth it. Man, you be able to see and feel things before it even happened to make moves. Like, and then you just be like, that's why I did that. Okay, it makes sense. Thank God I trust my intuition. Listen, let me tell y'all something. Y'all are some amazing, amazing of freaking amazing people it's rihanna pisces i think my y'all know rihanna is my spirit animal honey i think rihanna is a pisces that's my bitch so i just i just want to let y'all know that y'all are amazing y'all are <laughs> and i don't know um i know a lot of the energy that's been coming out sometimes it's been a little bit hard um especially on the masculine ends of things but I want y'all to know that pressure creates diamonds shine bright like a diamond honey it's time to shine bright it's time to shine your light all on the rest of 2019 okay Pisces I just want y'all to know that y'all the bomb diggity we about to find out what energy we got going on in October listen because <laughs> it ain't over. I told y'all in the fall we're going to have it all. So I want y'all to embrace this energy. I want y'all to embrace this love and light. Father God, thank you for working on us overnight. I feel like y'all been getting a lot of messages through y'all's dreams. Um, y'all been getting a lot of intuitive messages. Y'all been, it's like a gravitational pull that's been pulling y'all the way y'all need to be. And, um, Y'all going to see exactly why God has been doing certain things in y'all life, okay? So it's time to shine bright like a diamond, you guys. Father God, thank you so much for working on us morning, noon, and night. Because you don't ever leave outside. Even when we be going through the worst, you're always there. And you do everything for a reason, not a damn season. So Father God, thank you so much for your blessing. Thank you so much for your anointment. Thank you so much for this gift. Because, you know, Pisces is one of the most, <laughs> one of the most psychic and um, spiritual and intuitive of all of the signs other than Scorpio. So uh, we're, we're, we're uh, the last of a dying breed. You understand what I'm saying? If y'all, listen, y'all better turn on some Scarface last of the dying breed, okay? Okay? Anyway, I, I got to sing this song, y'all, because it just hit me. Cause I know God is watching from above Sometimes I wonder what I'd do without His love And although life is full of adversities I know He's with me He's with me And I know Someday, someday, someday Someday, 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 he'll come to get me. Someday, 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 he'll come to get me. Cause I just wanna be your soldier. I just want to be your vessel 
Ooh, ooh, Lord, I just want to be your soldier, yeah, and I just want to be your vessel, ooh, Lord, yeah. I feel like some of y'all needed that. Because regardless of what you go through, please know that God is still watching from above. What would we be able to do would be without his love. And regardless of life's adversity, know that he's with you every day. You understand? And someday, it might not be today, it might be tomorrow, God is going to reach down and grab you up out of that adversity, baby. <laughs> you are going to be the vessel. To march forth with his word. God, well, I feel like I'm about to cry. I'm not even about to do that. I don't even know what to do that. I can't. I can't. I got to keep going. So I just like, I don't know. Like, I had to do that. Like, God told me to do that for y'all. Because I want y'all to know, like, baby, y'all are special. Special. So I love y'all. All right? Let's get into this energy. Amen? Amen. All right. So, Father God, give us guidance for our Pisces. Treat me nice, please. Let me know which way to go. What's going on for our Pisces for um in this current moon cycle? Mm, mm, mm. Y'all, I'm trying to tell y'all, I'm trying to get my emotions back together because I was about to cry, bitch. Okay. <laughs> I right, man, that word came down on me, boy. God said. Sing that song. All right. Mm -mm. Sometimes I wonder what I do without His love. And although life is full of adversities, I know He's with me. It says the answers you need are coming. Full moon in Gemini. Hmm. My, 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 Gemini. It says, take time to breathe. A disseminating moon. Listen, I'm trying to tell y'all. Mm. South note. Don't let your past hold you back. That's a powerful message in its own right there. That's a powerful message in its own right now. Again, the answers you need are coming soon for morning, Gemini. Take time to breathe out. Disseminating moon. And that south note, don't. Your past doesn't define you, Pisces. Although life is full of adversities, I know that he's with me. If you know for a fact that God is walking through your life and he ain't put you through that for no reason, put amen down in the chat, y'all. Put amen down in the chat. I was just told to use my tarot dice that I just got today. All right. We're going to use these dice. we going to use these. Should I use the mat or should I just? No, we're not using the mat because we ain't doing all of that. We're not doing all of that. I'm sorry for this loud. Please clarify this numerology plan. The answers you need are coming. Take time to breathe and don't let the past hold you back. Give me guidance. The king of swords in the reverse. Okay. So you fighting for some truth. And there's some secrets that are untold here. Y'all are holding. Y'all are holding back some information about something that y'all don't feel comfortable talking about at the moment. The page of wands. But there is a uh, new beginnings coming to y'all. It's going to be new information and it's going to be filtered. And I'm trying to tell y'all it's going to be coming to you through your dreams about this information. There's, I really do feel like with this, um, Page of Wands and his King of Swords in the reverse. Um, it's something in your life that you need to cut out. And it has a lot to do with this past. That's why I said don't let your past define you. Don't let your past hold you back. 
Take time to breathe out. You understand what I'm saying? New blessings are coming to you and it will be shown to you as you as you continue to work through these cycles. You understand? And you have to come to a point where um, you're going to be able to stand up and sit on your throne and speak your truth in the name of Jesus. And then Water Baby Tarot just posted y'all reading just now. The title is Just One Step Away From Being Blessed. Now come on, if y'all know who Water Baby Tarot is, what the hell are you doing on YouTube? Y'all go follow my baby, Water Baby Tarot. What else you got for me? Mm-hmm. Yeah. It's a Ten of Cups in reverse. It was a breakdown in the... It was a breakdown in a family environment. Um, has something to do with these secrets that y'all hold in. Um, I feel like there's some information that y'all are holding back. It's something that y'all are keeping secret. And um, I really do feel like instead of you standing up and speaking your truth about it, with that page of wands, y'all might have moved forward and... and Thought that the grass was greener somewhere else because you were being invited, having a passionate invitation by someone else. And you thought that it was going to lead you to success and happiness. And it didn't amount to that at all. I do feel like there's um, a level of regret. Um, there's a level of regret. I really do feel like you guys have been searching for answers as to why you made that decision to cut yourself out of a situation. Searching for some truth. And y'all y'all still don't. It's like you still. You still are unclear. In regards to your path. What you really want. Um, and there's still a level of immaturity here. You know what I'm saying. Because. It says what you seek. What you seek you shall find. You know. I think I'm saying that right. But with this Gemini full moon, it says the answers you need are coming. The answers that you need is coming. The answers that you need is coming. And before you just jump yourself out there and just passionately and in an immature fashion, because I really do feel like the way that you walked away from whatever this was in your past... You didn't go about it in a mature way with that page of wands. I feel like y'all went towards a temporary satisfaction that ended up in a long lifetime of misery. Temporary satisfaction for a lifetime of misery. And right now it's like y'all are like, what the fuck did I do? I was king. I feel like y'all might have not known how to be on that throne y'all still had page energy with a king's responsibility but don't allow your past to hold you back baby you are so special you are so gifted you are so talented and remember in fall we gonna have it all um I want to read what that disseminating moon means because I haven't had that card yet and I really want to know what that means it has a lot to do with everything 34 take time to breathe it says hold on let me move this it says the intensity of the full moon has abated and what are you left with that's what this card is asking you it suggests that the situation you're asking about has now peaked and it's time for you to regroup and learn from your experiences rather than blindly forge ahead that's what you did it's like the king of swords is a very smart man he's very intelligent he does research he like investigates and finds out everything about anything before he moves forward this is someone that 
blindfully moved ahead. You know what I'm saying? Without thought. Without thought. Like I said, immature page, that's like a child's mindset. You know what I'm saying? Like, this is this is like someone had a brand new shiny ball. And your mommy told you not to play in the street. And, or not to play by the street. And your ball rolls out in the street. And instead of going to get your mother, you think it's the best thing because you love this. You're, you're so passionate about this little ball. You run out in the middle of the street and end up getting hit by a car and then wondering, you know what I'm saying? And not only did you lose your ball, but now you're in the hospital. Now you're having to recover. Now you're having to regroup. When you knew what mama said, but you did what you thought was best for you because you allowed your passions to take over what was clearly known to you in the mind. You know what I'm saying? Like, even if you didn't know better, you were taught better. You see what I'm saying? Your mother told you to don't do that. But it's just someone that didn't listen and thought that their way was the best way. And now they're in recovery. You know what I'm saying? Now they're emotionally distraught, feel kind of like a failure. You know what I'm saying? Because not only am I hurt, but I lost my prized possession too. That bright shiny ball <laughs> ain't there no more. You know what I'm saying? Like my family and everyone had to run out and take care of me and get me to the hospital. They didn't even think about no damn ball. So what was the prized possession of what you were passionate about because you weren't thinking, you know, put you in danger. And it's kind of like you lost it all. So emotionally you feeling disrupted right now you know and it's time to breathe out it says have faith that what is happening is for the best try to accept the way things are now and give yourself and others time to time out to relax breathe we can't all be on at all times if you feel that you've hit an obstacle or even failed in some way now is the time to reflect on how to do things differently next time be honest with yourself if you feel bad about your current situation and then remind yourself that life goes in cycles i am where i am and it's okay additional messages you should know where you stand either now or very soon. You need to take some time out for your own good. It is time for you to share your wisdom and your experience with someone else. Avoid falling into a slump. The teaching, the disseminating moon is the first moon phase after the explosion of energy that comes with the full moon. And you just had the full moon in Gemini right here. All of the answers are gonna to come to you in the full moon in Gemini, all right? Or not necessarily, it's going to be coming to you soon. It doesn't matter when we pull these cards. It doesn't mean that you got to wait until that moon phase. It means that this information is coming to you. This moon energy is what is currently circulating around you in the month of October that we're talking about. It says, no matter when you pick the card, it suggests you're not at more tranquil point in this life cycle for whatever situation you are asking about. This is not the ideal time to start something new. The disseminating moon is a time for you to breathe out. Give yourself some time off and think about what has passed. So, listen, right now you're in the hospital, you know? You're being tended to, you're being taken care of, you're being treated, you're being fed. You can't move because you're in a resting bed. You know? Right now you're thinking about, man. <laughs> and, and this is what's playing in my mind right now. It's like a little kid ran out in the street, got hit by a car chasing a ball. It was the beginning of summer. You know? Your freedom. Now you're about to spend the whole goddamn summer in the hospital eating jello and nasty ass hospital food because of a rash decision of an immature mind uh, something temporary that was I mean it really wasn't it was only important to you you know what I'm saying 
but it wasn't important to anybody else because everyone ran to rush to your need. Lord knows where that ball is anymore, but you chasing after a ball, getting off of your throne, not researching and finding out what you were getting yourself into, just taking blind risk, not caring how it affect other people, and more so you. You didn't think about what would have happened if you ran out in the street and got hit. I don't know if you just were naive and just thought that no danger would ever come to you. I don't know. But this is the situation that we're dealing with right now. But that was the past. That's what happened. You are being released from the hospital. You might got a week left of summer. So... You're trying to figure out why you did what you did. The answers are coming to you soon. It will be coming to you in the month of October. And regardless of what happened, don't let the past hold you back. You know? The past, the south note is where you came from. The north note is where you're going. You can't attune to the purpose of your north of your north note if you don't understand your past. Do you understand? So right now, I guess disseminating moon said it's time for you to accept your situation for what it is and assess why things happen. The answers are coming to you soon and learn from it. So you don't make the same mistakes again. Your past doesn't define you. You understand? So let's get into the unicorn energy. That was a deep ass message. I ain't even gonna lie. Shit, I felt like I was, uh, what's her name? Is it, uh, anyway, let me shut up. I'm thinking of another reader because she always be like, we're about to go on the mind trip. <laughs> What is her name? If y'all know that reader's name, she always has the really nice, colorful, like, unicorn colored wigs and stuff. That is my boo, honey. We about to go on a mind trip. That's my baby. Y'all know who I'm talking about. Put her name down in the chat so everybody can go follow her, man. She is amazing, honey. Yes. Yes. We got prosperity here. It came out in the reverse, but we don't read this deck in reverse. It says prosperity. A gift of money is on its way. Your income is increasing. Manage your finances with love. So there is going to be a turnaround in everything that you experience. I don't see in the love department as of yet. But in regards of, you know, you being able to securely take care of yourself, you're going to be fine. You know what I'm saying? Like, whatever just happened to you gave you a chance to think. Have some constructive criticism as well. About some things that transpired. You know, sometimes God got to sit us down. Sometimes God got to sit us down, you know, and, and we might not like the way that he went about it, but who the hell are we to question God about what he decides to do? And, and, and remember, we all have free will. So you can't blame God for everything. A lot of this, not a lot of it. This was our doing. Do you understand what I'm saying? This was our doing. And if you take a look at this unicorn, this reminds me of that fool card. You know? Forward movement. Taking the risk. Looking over that valley. You know what I'm saying? Looking over that valley. But I think y'all know enough now to don't take uncalculated risk. Y'all not just going to go jump thinking like, oh, God got me. I ain't going to die. Uh, yeah, nigga, I'm sitting here with a couple of broken bones jumping in front of a motherfucker car trying to get a ball. So, yeah, you can't get yourself hurt. So, like, don't, okay. So, <laughs> it's just like, it's a reality-based assessment right now. You know what I'm saying? And because God sat you down and gave you time to think and assess what when, why, and how certain things happen. Not allowing the past to hold you back. Prosperity and abundance is coming to you. So you don't have to rely on nobody. 
You're relying on yourself and your own ability. And not only that, you're not scared to move forward. Let's see what this is. The nine of wands in reverse. And look, you see, this is an upright. But you see how the unicorn is injured? Somebody most definitely had it, an accident recently. And if you, just be careful, y'all. Be careful because, um, be careful, you know. You guys are not guarding yourself. You don't feel like you got to hold yourself back from a certain situation. And I'm really taking this, I'm taking this as, like, I feel like some of y'all haven't been Y'all have not been protecting yourself from something. And I want y'all to be careful because I don't want y'all to get hurt. It's, um, this is someone that possibly put their guard down and might be under attack again. And I don't want you or, or it might be like an accident about to happen and like y'all are not paying attention as you putting your guard down and like kind of thinking it ain't going to happen to you or something like that be careful I feel like y'all need to do some grounding work and this could definitely be if not that cause like I'm just and, I, and, I, and I'm not trying to predict nothing but be careful. Be careful. Okay? Riding in y'all's car. Be careful crossing the street. I'm really seeing something about a vehicle. Like someone getting hit by a car. Like a car accident or something. I don't know if y'all had a car accident and y'all about to come into some money. Because you got hit by a car or whatever. And y'all about to get a settlement check. Something. I feel like there might have been a vehicular accident and you're going to come into prosperity because of this situation. But it was like you weren't watching where you were going. You weren't, you know what I'm saying? You would put your guard down. And I want you guys to do some grounding work. This is smoky quartz. You understand? Do I have me some smoky quartz? Hold on. Here got some smoky quartz right here. Go get y'all some smoky quartz, y'all. Do <sighs> something. Some obsidian something. The nine of pentacles in the reverse. Yeah, like... This is a feeling of, like... Failure. Like, this is a feeling of failure. A financial failure. You weren't guarding your finances. Possibly wasn't really working towards your finances. This is someone that was on some get rich quick scheme type of shit or something like that. Like, and like these cycles are something that need to be closed. And now, now, now I am like feeling like I do need to flip that prosperity card in the reverse because it came out in the reverse. But I never try to read those this, these cards. I don't read these cards in reverse. But now I'm seeing why it came out in the reverse. You can't try to get through life winging it. Like this is someone winging it. Do you understand what I'm saying? Like you're not guarding yourself. You're not protecting yourself. This is someone who wasn't grounded. You understand? Like you've been through an already rough time in your life and you might have to pick up your wands and fight a, a battle one more time. But it's like there's someone feeling like it's not like I don't know. You got to be ready to fight. You got to ground yourself or you're going to get hurt again. Do you understand what I'm saying? Like. If you were thinking about doing like a get rich quick scheme or selling drugs, because the Nine of Pentacles in reverse, this is like someone selling drugs or doing something where they're trying to get some fast money. The Queen of Cups in the reverse. 
And then you got the Page of Swords here. So, this is, okay, number one, you, you're dealing with, if you're a female, this Queen of Cups right here, in the reverse, this is an emotionally insecure, a clingy, uh, a nagging, like this is, this is someone that's always crying, low self-esteem. I mean, and, and I'm sorry, I don't, I don't mean to be saying these things, but I mean, sis, I got to call a spade a spade. You understand what I'm saying? Like, the Queen of Cups in reverse is not someone that you want to look up to like you know this is someone always judging herself based off of what other people say like you know what other people think the page of swords like is this a page of swords yes this is a page of swords this is someone that doesn't think before they talk you know like not at all you know what i'm saying just blabbing anything out like immature premature Thoughts, communication, um, you know, and then this is the investigation card as well. I mean, this is someone, this is someone that I feel like wasn't guarding themselves and they got financially taken advantage of. Now they're an emotional wreck and... I feel like this person is trying to find out where someone went with their prosperity. They need clarity. The answers are coming soon. It's time to breathe out. Don't let the past hold you back. I feel like this person right here might have been the victim of this person up here. We could all be one and the same. But this is someone trying to do a get rich quick scheme or they were messing around with, <laughs> I just heard a, a pimp prostitute a player. Okay. Someone that was really just around you and was trading sex for money and might not have been outward about what they were doing. But in the long, in, in the grand scheme of things, that's what they were doing. They were only around you. Because of what they could gain from you materially. And now you're materially bankrupt. Like this is someone that's bankrupt. Someone that got scammed. Someone got conned. Someone that got manipulated out of everything that they have. And that's why this woman feels like that. That's why she's crying. That's why she's worried. That's why she's upset and an emotional wreck. This person is like very mentally immature as well. Smart, but don't really know what to say out of their mouth. You know what I'm saying? Like their emotions are based off of what people say and what other people think. So it's like you need to do your research on your own before you just go dealing with people. Do you understand what I'm saying? You need to know what you're talking about. You need to know what you're getting yourself involved in. You need to know what you're getting yourself mixed into. Because this is someone that got mixed up with the wrong type of people and got ran over. You understand what I'm saying? Like ran over. Ran over. Ran over. They let their guard down. Let's see what's on the other side of this prosperity card. Give me guidance. What's on the other side of this prosperity? I feel like this was the past. It's the present. What's presently going on with Pisces? Just prosperity. The Three of Wands. The King of Cups. Yeah, this is like a soulmate situation I definitely feel like the lover's card should be here I definitely feel like the lover's card should be here this okay so they, there you go pinky there you go pinky 
Yeah, Miss Pinky, the pink one, her. She was the one that... She was the one that put her guard down. That got financially manipulated. And was left an emotional... An emotional mayhem. That's the page of sword. You could have used that sword to cut someone out. Not thinking, not caring about what they said and what they did and how it could have affected this person. Here go Miss Pinky, okay? The ship has a ship has sailed away. Like, you know, I, I know that a ship has sailed but another one is coming in. You see, she's too busy looking at this ship that sailed away, which was him. I feel like this person stayed until the getting was good. Once the money was gone, this person cut him out. Cut him out. Okay? Was very immature about it. Left this person in a fucked up predicament. Do you understand? Miss Pinky is too busy paying attention to what sailed away and is not paying more attention to what came and what is coming towards them. So if you are on the receiving end of this energy, I want you to put your focus on what's coming in, not what's going out. I need you to get your emotions together because it's some shit that you need to leave behind. Okay? Because you need to get your ass on this boat. Not only do you need to get your ass on this boat, but you need to get yourself grounded again. Smoky Quartz is a grounding stone. It protects you from nightmares. This situation was a fucking nightmare for you, baby. A nightmare for you. Okay? This is a movement card. It's time for you to move on. Stop focusing your energy about what is past and gone. You got something coming to you, baby. Do you get me? Ground yourself. This person left you for a job, for another woman, for another man. It don't matter. Leave that person and the thoughts of them being with whoever, wherever the fuck they at, wherever they going. Stop worrying about where they at, where they going. Focus on what's coming towards you before that ship sail past your ass too. Do you understand what I'm saying? Do you get me? Okay. Here go the King of Cups. Here go Pisces. Pisces. This person. This person. Where's a. She's an emotional wreck. He's getting himself together. He's sitting better. You know. He's emotionally secure. And not only is he emotionally secure, look, there go his ship. Look, there go the ship. There go the ship. There's his ship. This person has landed in a new location. His ship is docked. He's resting in a new environment. He's resting in a new environment. And she's too busy trying to look at where he's going instead of what's coming towards her. She needs to get herself grounded. He got his emotions together and figured out where he needed to go. He cut himself out of the situation. Give me one more. Five of Pentacles in reverse. Yeah. The hard times are over. Oh, what's this right under it? And the Ten of Pentacles. For this man, the hard times is over. The hard times is over. I'm putting this up. All right. For this man, no matter what was said, no matter what was done in the past, he's not letting his past transgressions or mistakes or even... The current condition of how somebody is that he left is doing. You don't understand? That, that's why 
if you're on the receiving end of this energy, if you're a victim of this person doing this shit, because I told you this is someone that got off of their throne and cut up and cut out for temporary, because someone offered them something new, something brand new. But this could have resulted in a divorce um, in the ending of a marriage. This could have resulted in a divorce in the ending of a marriage. Do you understand what I'm saying? What left someone else in a complete emotional rut. And while you stepped on her to propel yourself up, you stepped on her and you pushed her down in the mud. Like this person is in like emotional quicksand. And I know you sitting over there pretty in your high chair and everything like that. I get it. But just please know, baby. Please know what goes up must come down. It must come down. Must come down. So just because you done docked your boat and you sitting on your high horse, you done cut your emotions off to her, you ain't worried about her. I mean, what you can only really be concerned about yourself, but at the same time, it has to be a sense of responsibility. You know, this is someone that stepped on someone else to propel their self forward. And I ain't necessarily liking that shit. And again, this is the Two of Pentacles. Something got dropped in order for them to lighten up their weight to lighten up their load so they can move a little quicker, a little swifter, so they can have more balance. They realized that they were trying to take on too much. Do you understand what I'm saying? They were trying to take on too much. Because at the end of the day, this person put out this person put their guard down with you. They allowed you to drain them all of their resources and when it came time for you to return the favor, you said, Oh no, that's too much for me. Let me just cut you out and move on ahead. I can only take care of myself. Like this is like this is this is him. That's him. And she's like, well, where the fuck are you going? Like, where are you going? Like, I don't have no more money. Ground yourself, baby. This person don't care. All right. This person is coming to prosperity. Their hard times is over. Do you understand? Might not be a situation for you, but for them, they felt like it would be better for them to get rid of you and that's more money by itself. Like, they wasn't about to... I'm, like, I'm serious. They wasn't about to do that. They found a Ten of Pentacles somewhere else. I told you this person docked their boat in a new environment. They live in a new place. Do you understand? And they're financially good. They're wealthy. They're living in a lap of prosperity. And I want to say for Miss Pinky, a gift of money is on its way. Your income is increasing. Manage your finances with love. You need to pay attention to why that stuff happened. The answers are coming. Do you get me? You need to take time to breathe. And you as well do not need to let the past determine your future. You put your guard down for the wrong motherfucker. They scammed you. They conned you. They took your coin. They moved on. They invested it somewhere and made it better for them. And never turned back. Not even worried about you. Okay? So you seen what happened. So this is time for you to put your guard up. It's time for you to guard yourself. Do you understand what I'm saying? So this never happens to you again. You need to come out of this lack mentality. This man came out of the lack mentality and turned it into financial blessings for them. Because they weren't going to sit around and be broke with you. They were only around you when you had, when the getting was good. And as soon as it wasn't, and it came too much of a financial burden on them, they cut their losses and felt that they were better on their own. So it's just time for you to learn from this. It's, it's just time for, for, for you to learn from this, babe. 
Your past doesn't determine your future. But what you need to do again, Miss Pinky. Okay? Because what you need to do, baby. And I feel like this is water sign on water sign. Like, this is more definitely water sign on water sign. This could be two Pisces messing with each other. You know what I'm saying? But the woman was left in a messed up predicament. While the man is off thriving, not giving a fuck about her. I need you to learn from this. Don't stay in that place of lack. They didn't. And that's the thing I try to explain to people all the time. Why I sit back and worry, fuss, cuss, and cry about what somebody did to them when these people moved on and they not thinking about you, baby. They are not thinking about you. They are not thinking about what they did to you and what predicament they left you in. They are over here living in the lap of luxury. Okay? They are living in the lap of luxury, not caring. Please focus your energy on you learning from what you experienced so it never happens to you again don't ever let nobody take advantage of you ever and i'm and, and i'm and i really do think that this is someone who is like this person doesn't really work like that like when you met him this person wasn't working i don't know if they were a starving artist if they was a drug dealer if they were just selling little motherfucking 3.5s and shit like i look you let this person come and live off of you and to, they gave you all of these false hope, these false promises and shit. And what, cause you seen this person hustling or just doing whatever the fuck it was that they were doing. You believe the con, you believe the manipulation. And, mm -mm. be careful. Give me guidance. Get it to a space, baby. Listen. You realize this person showed you the true beast that they are. There's a right now. Uh, the ten, the ten of pentacles. I, uh, I feel like this person has a family with someone else. Like this person is created a family or a lifestyle with someone else. This person is extremely mad about this. Do you understand what I'm saying? The pretty unicorn that you used to be. Like, you're, you just don't look like that anymore. There's a lot of anger. There's a lot of pent-up and built-up anger. And it has a lot to do with your emotions. Like, your emotions are just a shit show right now. And whoever this is, I don't know. This is the, this, this Queen of Cups in the reverse. Like, you so broke right now. You ain't even got enough money to go get your weed put in or nothing. Like... You, like, your roots are overgrown. Like, you're not taking care of yourself. Like, you ain't washing your ass. Like, this is someone going through some depression. Like, I don't know. You, look, you got whiskers growing out your face and shit like that. You ain't been motherfucker trimming. Like, I, you know, I say, look at some ladies, they, they always go to the salon. They go get their they eyebrows done. And sometimes they get their little mustache. Take, like, sis, like, you been, girl. 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 I'm really feeling all up in the right here, girl. You need to take care of that. Like, you need to wash. You need to take care of yourself. Like, this is someone in, in going through depression. Like, you're not eating. Like, you've lost weight. Your hair is shedding. You ain't even combing your hair. Like, I mean, this is... Because you're angry. You're angry. What is this? The Joker. This is the light. This is the light. Okay. Whew. Oh my gosh. Like, this is a Joker card in the upright. Okay. So, that's a good sign. I feel like y'all are tired of looking at that. Y'all tired of looking like that. Y'all tired of being angry. And I, I'm, I'm serious. Like, it's like y'all hair is falling out. Like, whatever stress and depression and shit that y'all went through with this shit. It's affecting your health. And now you're, you're finally able to see the light. Y'all are picking your emotions up and y'all are ready to move off on faith. And then get yourself together. Let's see what's going on with this asshole over here. Because I just... And just know, like, at the end of the day, whoever this king of swords is right here that cut this person out and did this to them, 
I'm trying to tell you that Ten of Pentacles that you're experiencing right now. Yeah, you're sitting over there in a lap of luxury. I am telling you. You are going to reap what you sow. Do you understand what I'm saying? Enjoy it while it lasts. This Ten of Cups in the reverse. You're going to be right where she's sitting. You reap what you sow. Know that. Know that. Page of Wands, King of Swords. This is the male energy. <laughs> this is the one that took advantage and moved on <laughs> and left this person in the dust. What is this? The Queen of Hearts. Yeah. yeah this person's in a new relationship. This person's in a new relationship. They found a new Queen of Hearts. They can be dealing with another, a different water sign. They're dealing with a Cancer female. She's very nurturing. He went and moved into another house with another woman that is doing. I don't even think that this is financial achievements and stuff on their own. Like, they went from you with your Nine of Pentacles into an already made home. So, this is someone that moved in with someone that has an already made home, an already set family. Like, do you see? He's moving in. You see how he got this new woman, this new queen of hearts in her house, in her new location with her kids. And he done moved in there. He's bringing his family. It's like a blended family. So this is, this is not even his accomplishments. This is, <laughs> this is someone else's accomplishments. Do you understand what I'm saying? So this person has not done anything different. Not a motherfucking thing different. They just picked another victim. Another victim. What's this? The Seven of Clubs. This is a storm. And they go that damn boat. And they go the black horse. With their head down. Hmm. The Seven of Clubs basically means like this person move forward and make the best the next move the best move so the action that they took was merely because you know <laughs> they withdrew themselves from a situation where they felt like it was no longer benefiting them they moved on and they put their hat like, I want to say Papa was a rolling stone. They, I mean, they, they just made their next move their best move. Really. They found a, a woman. She's already well established. Her and her kids live nice and everything like that. This person moved on and, and decided to put the work in there. Instead of putting it in over here. With, you ain't got no money. You ain't got nothing. Like, what? Like, <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Why pay you when I could pay her and I could spend all of her money? You know what I'm saying? I could listen. It's a hustle. Do you do you, do you understand what I'm saying? Do you understand what I'm saying here? Do you understand what I'm saying? Give me guy. I need one card right here on this prosperity in the middle. Cause um, uh, give me guidance. Who's coming into this prosperity? Cause it's two water signs for me. It's the queen or it's the king. Even though he got a new queen. Give me guidance. It's her. It's her. She got protection too. She got protection too. Alright baby girl. I'm trying to tell you. You gonna be fine. You mama, get your mama. Because I'm trying to tell you there's another boat. There's another ship coming in. Please stop paying attention to this motherfucker. Focus on you, baby. Listen. Where's your faith? Like, get your faith together, baby. God, God I promise you. God protect children and fools. And by the blessings of God, you was a fool in love. 
by the blessings of God. Because if you'd have had any idea and your dumb ass got yourself mixed up with this motherfucker, God would have had no mercy. God protect children and fools. And Lord have mercy, you was a fool in love. That was all you was guilty of. Pick your emotions up, baby. God got you, honey. God got you. Get your faith. <laughs> There's another ship coming, baby. Let me try to tell you. This is the ace of clubs, mama. A new ship has flown in. This is a new job opportunity. That's that. Listen. A new situation has this is a new beginning card. Do you understand what I'm saying? This is like the Ace of Wands, baby. A new beginning is being brought to you. The Five of Clubs. All you got to do is change your energy and protect yourself. You see the dragon? Protect yourself. Number one, your horse ain't going to lead you in the wrong direction. But, baby, you got sense enough. You got some protection. A breathing fire dragon it may not look big but bitch you ain't check the nearest y'all ain't seen the game of thrones out this month oh that motherfucker gonna get big and it's gonna protect you with every fiber in his bones do you understand me do you get me y'all about to make me mad y'all about to make me mad like this about to make me mad because i swear on my life yo you will never prosper Doing people like that. And you ain't nothing but doing the same shit in a different fucking toilet. Everything that was taken from you, baby, you will have it back. You got to show God that you're willing to put the work in. Where's your faith? You got to show your faith. Listen, I had this meme that I posted the other day and it said, let God remove who he was removed from your life because at the end of the day you don't know what this person was saying when he wasn't around you. God hears and knows all. I know it hurts. I know it did. Pick yourself up, baby. Let's get into this. Let's get into this. Let me um clarify for y'all. Let me clarify from y'all a few things. Two of spades, baby. It's gonna be okay. Traditionally, a card of conflict, disagreement, betrayal, argument, anger, resentment, holding a grudge, vindictiveness, violence, bad news, removal, separation, something sharp, being stabbed in the back, pointed, ice, teeth, it was biting, baby, icy, cold-hearted, cold-hearted. You already know what the joker means. Baby, that's faith. That's movement. Listen, your horse is coming. Spirit is coming to protect you and save you, baby. You just be ready. Dust yourself off. I need you to get past this resentment. I need you to get past this anger. I need you to get yourself emotionally ready so that God can give you the blessings that he's trying to give you, baby. I think my baby is down there singing. <laughs> so let's see. Ace of clubs. This is the new beginnings. The beginnings of a new enterprise, a business, a venture, focus, direction, and singleness of purpose. You hear me? New beginnings. This is the exercise of will, important papers to be signed, legal documents, a contract, mortgages, a legal will, a business or institution, government, corporate, public, private, financial, educational, or penal. A home belonging to someone other than the quarrants. Okay? Okay? So, I really do feel like, baby, you were the one that was the victim of this. Okay? This spread started off talking about him. And now I'm putting my focus on you. Do you understand what I'm saying? So... The quarrant is him. This one up here. Because this one made an accident. This one had an accident. An accident. They not might look at it as an accident. It's, I'm, I'm trying to tell you. Because this person thinks that they good. And they have no idea what's coming their way. None. 
the five of clubs let me try to tell you baby let me try to tell you what, what victory do see that drag i just want you to focus on that dragon baby you got a beautiful goddamn dragon on your arm honey <laughs> someone about to go get a dragon tattoo after this too goddamn because y'all don't went through the storm baby Y'all on some Daenerys Targaryen. Well, don't end up being a bad Daenerys Targaryen. But you know what I'm saying. Anyway. Five of Clubs. An action. Card. Change. A change in a work situation. How you're working with someone and your social standings. That means you changing the way you working and your social standings with someone. Separation, divorce, all of that shit like that. Your social standings with this person has changed. Remember we said separation, singleness of intentions okay you focused on yourself now baby all right it can represent working with your hands or making something it can also denote exercise physical labor providing the extra effort that is needed to get the job done action physical activity the need for physical exercise competition a sporting a sporting event a job interview good luck you know, like I told y'all, y'all getting y'all shit back together. I told y'all y'all was looking dusty over here when y'all were going through that depression. Y'all going to get y'all shit. Y'all can't go out nowhere looking like that. <laughs> y'all done went out there and y'all started putting some applications in for a new job, baby. Everything that was taken, you going to have that and then some. Okay? Eating on them some, baby. <laughs> And this, 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 this little huzzy right here, she don't have no idea what she done got herself mixed up in. The Queen of Hearts, you already know. I don't even have to tell you what the Queen of Hearts is. And that's another water sign. This person, this, this man likes to pick on people and their emotions and their heart. They like to prey on women's hearts. Do you understand what I'm saying? This little, this one has no fucking idea what she got herself into none what so ever let's get into the seven of clubs all right so this is what he about to do with her increase in activity a change in business or a social situation physical and mental effort including yard work harsh housework home repairs or even fixing the car i told you this person left you because you ain't had nothing to give. They rather take their pinnacle. Remember, they, they were balancing things with you. Listen, that affinity sign, they had you think. Listen, they had you thinking that y'all were going to be together forever. Did they not? Look, did they not? They got you to fuck up off their back. Dropped you and put that work in over here with Mama Sita Senorita and her kids. Okay? Especially if you got kids with them this motherfucker do more yard work and house and homely shit for this bitch and her kids and not even his motherfucking kids anyway listen i told you look you see this getting on the boat you see the dark horse this is the one going through a dark phase that's you over here boo but that's okay because this too shall pass it says attention to detail carefully evaluating the situation before making a decision or taking action this motherfucker stalked this one. It's like, you know, like how someone about to do a robbery and something, how they case, they case a bank before they do it. This motherfucker watched this person. Listen, it says keeping busy, a risk of work overload, the need for rest, relaxation, preoccupation with work. This car is the card of a workaholic, negotiations, disagreements, and argument. Or feeling of restlessness and discomfort, taking on too much, making the best of a difficult situation. So this motherfucker went on over here with this bitch and thought that he made his next move, his best move. Not even realizing you end up working harder over here. Listen, this is emotional unfulfilled. This is someone. This is like he done went over here and thought. He was starting a new beginning with old Sugar Plum over here and ended up having to work harder, not smarter. He thought he was doing something smart. Like I told you, but he thought he was doing the right thing, but he really didn't do as much research as he should have. You understand? The King of Swords is a very good judge of character. He is like a judge in a court situation. Uh-uh. 
he was not qualified to sit on that throne on that throne because he made a very dumb decision an immature decision on a page level that ended up making him as emotionally bankrupt as he left you now ain't that karma for your motherfucking ass all right puff puff pass go ahead sister go puff puff pass sister go ahead and go ahead relax your mind let your conscience be free you now rolling with me, baby. I'm about to take care of y'all. I'm about to take care of you good, baby. Just get your emotions. Pull it up, baby. Pull your emotions up, okay? All right. Hold on. How my baby, uh, Selena Johnson said, I'm more pulled up than you. Come on. <laughs> Listen. Girl, all thing you gotta do is go clean yourself up a little bit. Girl, you shit on everything. Look at you, mama. Look at how you rolling out when you get your shit together. And you decide to stop, to stop putting your energy on some bullshit and focus your energy on you. Come on now. Come on. Come on. So let's see what spirit got for y'all. Because I'm serious. I feel like this is a Pisces or a Pisces relationship. Or it's a Pisces and Cancer relationship. I'm not seeing no Scorpio energy in here. But it's a water sign on water sign energy. Give me guidance from spirit. Father God, what guidance do you have for my Pisces? Or this person dealing with the Pisces? Give me guidance for them. Give me some spiritual guidance. Listen, a gift from God. All right? It says, we angels bring you gifts from your creator. Open your arms to receive. I, listen, baby girl, didn't I tell you that God got you? I mean, God got you. <laughs> I told you in New Beginnings, in a good luck card, and it changed in your work situation. You Listen, y'all about to go on some interviews and stuff like that. All that money and shit, you about to, whatever money you was making, your salary is about to double. And I, and it's going to be a position that you didn't even think you was qualified for. Like, I think you just put that shit out there. Like, man, I'm all, look, I'm, I'm putting the uh, applications out of shit. I might as well apply for this executive. It's like a position where you may not have the formal education for it, but you have the work experience. And you didn't think that they were going to call you. But you got the work experience, though. You understand what I'm saying? And you got to give the gab, girl. Only thing, listen, you gonna get that call and you gonna go, listen, you gonna go real quick and go to the salon and go get your hair did, 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 okay? You gonna get yourself trimmed up, glammed up, girl. You about to get, listen, your faith is being restored. You like, hold on, God, like for real? Yes, girl. Get your hair out the gutter. Listen, you don't feed pearls to swine. This is swine, okay? This is swine. And did this reading come on time, baby? Watch. Next week, you gonna get that call. And I told y'all the fall, we gonna have it all. Come on. Oop, oop. Queen of Earth. Didn't I tell you your goddamn money about to come on it? Girl, you ain't got to listen to me, Tonita. You don't got to listen to me, Tonita. You don't have to listen to me, girl. You do not have to listen to me, girl. You don't. You don't. What fell on the floor? The four of water. I did not tell you you were a goddamn cancer, girl. I did not tell you it was a cancer. Baby, when these, when this, nothing can stop me. I'm on the way up. This motherfucker going to come back to you because they going to realize, goddamn, this is more work than I thought I was getting myself into. Oh, baby, they better not come back to you. They going to get rejected because they ain't respected over here. They gonna get rejected because they ain't respected. Okay? We ain't got no respect for you. You's a crumb bum, rat face, peasant, bottom feeding, crusty butt, fuck ass nigga. Okay? A fuck ass nigga. Don't listen. You should always leave someone better than how you met them. Okay? This person did listen. I done been through worse than you. I just can't keep running away. Okay? You done been through worse. Because I feel like this woman 
She might not have physically went through it, but she done seen her mother go through it. She done seen worse. Okay? <laughs> she done seen it. She done seen it. Okay? She would never her never in her rabbit ass life make that mistake ever again. So whoever this is, once you decide and you realize that you done jumped your ass out the motherfucker pot and into the fire, bitch. You can bring your ass on over here for someone to let you know, honey, your time is expired. I don't even fuck with your kind no more. Okay? I make too much money to hang around rat face peasant hoes like you. Bitch, you scrape the bottom of the barrel. You ain't sterile. You a bottom of the barrel, asshole. You ain't sterile. You are unsanitary. You'll give me crabs. Crab ass. Fuck out of here. Y'all done pissed me off. Father God, excuse me. They done pissed me the fuck on off. Listen, the seven of swords. Okay? I done figured out all your manipulation. Listen, it wasn't hard for me to figure out because you left me in a fucked up situation. You, you, oh, you, listen. You think you got away with something. I let you get away. I let you get away. And you ain't coming back. Okay? The bitch can have you. And all your crab ass shit just come with you. Can have your bottom of the barrel feet and ass. Okay? So whatever type of foolishness that you trying to come back over here, these mental games, this, 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 get your fucking ass out my face. You don't have no place in my heart. I don't have no time for you. None of the likes of you. Beat it. God damn it. Beat. Yes, I'm trying to tell you the motherfucking. Y'all, it can't serve all up in this motherfucker. Look, the chariot in the reverse. Oh, now you coming back emotionally unstable. Oh, now you ain't got no place to go. You need some. Oh, what you must have pissed. Oh, oh, Miss, 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 Miss Prissy off. You done pissed her off, huh? Oh, oh, for real? Oh, yeah. Yeah. Well, you better get your emotions together because when you left me in a situation that you left me in, you ain't give a fuck about my emotions now, did you? Now, did you? There go that Gemini moon. <laughs> the answers you seeking is coming to you real soon. Honey, you see those feathers? That is the blessings from God all over you. God did you a favor. A favor. Okay, you pulled them swords out of your back. Because this is the ten of swords. Is it? You pulled through, yeah, you fell backstabbed and betrayed. Now you ain't doing nothing but being covered with faith. Ladies, have you been seeing bird feathers, angel feathers falling from the sky everywhere you look? You seeing feathers on the ground? That is spirit giving you a goddamn pat on your back. Good job, bitch. Good job. Because you done got your mind back together. Do you understand? Ain't nothing but hope and blessings floating all over your motherfucking ass. This the good tarot, motherfucker. This don't mean nobody stabbed and uh 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 feeling betrayed and you know dishuffled and just destroyed. Oh no, motherfucker, we did that up here. We did that up here when we was watching and looking at you going on over there. Being oh no, we done did that shit, baby. That 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 ship has sailed. The ship has sailed. New ships that came in this motherfucker. Who gonna check me, boo? Fuck out of here. <laughs> Fuck out of here. I'm trying to tell you. Didn't I? Didn't I? Didn't I? Now, didn't I tell you? As above, so below. <laughs> baby, that was temporary. That was temporary success, baby. This motherfucker is emotionally fucked over what did i do i don't want to be here i want a divorce i want a separation this is too much work i'm not happy oh are you hmm you immature cunt motherfucker you you thought shit was better over there you thought the pussy was better over there didn't you you too young to know what some good pussy is bitch get your dumb ass out somewhere Sitting on a fucking throne that you don't even own. Listen, over here sitting on a throne that you don't even own. You keep moving in the females' houses trying to act like you king tut, bitch. Fuck out of here. <laughs> Nigga, go and achieve and get your own shit. Then you can run around and act like you're big. 
like your big willy. The fuck? Ooh, let me get about it. This energy in the name of Jesus. Give me some guidance for my mom. Give me some guidance for Pinky. What's come? Ooh, it says wait. Don't rush it. Allow nature to take its course, baby. Allow, listen, did you see that tree? You see how you grew? Oh, baby, you grew through this, baby. You grew. What I'm telling you, God protect children and fools. You was a fool in love, baby. You ain't do nothing wrong. You ain't do a motherfucking thing. You took your guard down for someone that you loved and you thought that they were going to nurture and protect you the way that you did them. You grew from this shit. Just wait, baby. Don't rush into no new love situation. Just wait. I told you guys about to bring you many blessings. Abound, baby. <laughs> you don't don't make it so. Oh, and look at this, honey. You was wrapped up with a snake. Don't don't let it be a mistake. <laughs> you was wrapped up with a snake, baby. And you better know it. You better know it. Good riddance. Goodbye. Listen. She wanted your trash. She got it. <laughs> she got it. She got it. Okay? Crab ass. Crab in the barrel ass, motherfucker. <laughs> oh, let me get up out of here. Ladies in the Mercedes. Driving these niggas crazy, baby. You done went and got your, your your new job and everything. You done fixed that shit up. You done got your roots fixed up. You done got you some new hair, some new fingernails. You done went and, and, and put some pink hair in or whatever the hell you done did. Pinky? Pinky? Tch. You just wait. Don't you rush into nothing. God is sending you something amazing. God. Amazing. You just let God keep working with you, baby. You got protection. You got protection. <laughs> what is this? Ooh, surrender. Surrender to this. Let God keep moving the things like I told you. Like I told you, God took this motherfucker from you because you ain't know what was going on in the background. You don't know how this motherfucker was talking about you. You don't know what was being said. You don't know what was being plotted. You don't know what was being planned. Surrender to this. God know what he doing, baby. God always knew what he was doing. You see this? This is the red, baby. This is that base chakra. Ground yourself. And in that middle, that is the crown chakra. Ground yourself and understand that God did this shit for a reason. And this motherfucker gonna reap every little bit of the fuck shit that they sold. You will forever scrape at the bottom. You crab in the barrel. Fuck ass nick. God damn it. God damn it. I'm sorry. Y'all got me pissed off around up in here. What is this adventure? Oh, honey, you're going on a brand new adventure. And you know what? It's going to start with that throat chakra right there, that blue. You're going to speak your truth. Started off with calling that motherfucker a crab ass fuck, nigga. Okay? <laughs> Listen, hold on. You see that 5-5, five, five, baby? Oh, did you change up on a motherfucker? You ain't the sweet mother. You ain't sweet no more. You ain't naive no more. You ain't a fool no more. Listen, once you experience some shit like this, you ain't never in your life got to worry about me going through no shit like this ever again. Thank you, God. It was hard, but I needed to go through this because I could smell a fuck crab ass nigga a mile away. You smell like yesterday's puss. You smell like old fish. Like you been in the farmer's market. The wharf. Bitch, you see your wharf thing, okay? You smell like peasant puss. Fuck out of here. <laughs> Y'all better listen. Mm -mm. Moderation. Moderation. Look, you see this abundance? You see that green, baby? That's money. That's honey. That's the yummy. That's that yum yum sauce. Baby, everything that's coming into your life is a blessing. It's about to be tasty. Your heart is going to be so satisfied. You see that grounding root in the middle? Baby, you're rooted in these blessings. Moderation, baby. Don't ever give nobody that much that you gave this idiot. Make them show you that they're rooted in their planet before you give them any of your goddamn heart. Any of your money. Okay? Moderation. 
you learn to only show a moderate supply of what you can do and what you can give. Because last time you, you, you went all out, you got bankrupt. Moderation. Moderation. Give me one more, Father. Thank you so much. Woo! Synchronicity, baby! Did this video come right on time? I, it's some of y'all down there in the guy. There's some of y'all screaming right now. Go ahead, Reds. Tell it, Reds. I know y'all going to fuck off. I know you are. You ain't got to say it down in the comment. I feel your spirit, girl. I feel it. Oh, honey. Oh, whoop. what I tell you? Checkmate, bitch. This is chess, not checkers. When I'm telling you God got you, <laughs> and the way you about to synchronize this shit as you going up, this motherfucker coming down. <laughs> Boop. And tell you got listen. I I got chill pumps. Can you see it? Can you see it? That spirit, baby. Y'all better know I don't come here to play with y'all. Listen, if this video resonated with you, goddamn. If it resonated, hit that like button and share if you care. Let this motherfucker know. Oh, I done seen your future, bitch. Laugh now, cry later. Peace.